Okay. Yep, I'm slacking on you here. Sorry. I'll just be a second. That's a good shot right there. Get somebody behind me. got it set up for deeps or what you can set this machine up to extract uh, uh, supers like we're doing here frames or you can do high bodies as well uh, there's also an Illinois depth frame which is a little bit taller than this you can hook it up for that I think they got it for Illinois depth right now but still basically you just run that machine it goes through there drops down and they got knives that are cutting back and forth on that thing it's got heat going through it as well but it just got on this conveyor. And the next one pushes it on further down now. Well, just these bars that are on there, they just pull it and they keep just lining up until you have know, the tray's full. But I can put in this, set it down inside here, and we start this off at a slow speed. Okay, just so we can start what it does, spin around and around and around, just slings the honey out. Well, let's get on this. That one's uh, this is uh, got, got dig well, not digital, but it's uh, got a dial on it that you can do it. Let's see everything's out of the way. But basically it's right now it's in fast gear. And the way you do this on this one is just do it like that. But, but what you do is just start this up. What happens? It's gonna spin fast, but it just starts spinning around and around and around. It spins and that honey slings out of that comb and everything. So what it does from that point, you know, you got different speeds on, like I said, I got it low speed right now. But as the honey slings out, then we speed it up a little bit more until it just slung it all out. Uh, but then you just cut these things down and unload them. But as you see, there's a drain pipe that comes out of the bottom of every one of these extractors here. Like on this, the drain pipe comes out right here. Mm -hmm. oh, they, run, there. they run into this sump tank where your sump tank picks up all the honey. Cool. And then basically what it is, we got a pump right here 
that pumps it up into this big tank storage tank. And what we do in this tank right here, we got a set of coils where, where this stuff, the cappings and honey comes up high enough, it'll start melting all that wax in there. We'll melt all that wax off and run it into this tank down. Let go of me. It'll run yeah. in this little tub down here, and you got wax. Mm -hmm. So we save every bit of that we can, you know? Nice. Right. Real low pressure, like 5 or 6 PSI? Or? Uh, yeah, I think it's something like that. It may be a little bit higher than that, but it ain't much. I think it's like 10, 10 PSI or something like that. But uh, leave. But this is our cut comb that we put in the uh, bottle jars that people, some people want, some people don't. But, you know, we do it with gallberry and also with uh, orange block. Then what our standard mm -hmm. eight frame supers are, mm -hmm. which he's got 10 framers in it. Well, is it 10 framer? No, he's got eight framers too. Yeah, I thought Lee was 10 frame. I did too, uh, but now I think about it, no, he's, uh, he's pretty much eight totally eight frame. Too. I don't know if you can see yeah. it. Look at that shot. Nice. Look at all this he's got over here. Nice. So that's stuff that's been pretty. extracted. Nice. This is actually stuff that we've had on. That we've taken it back off the bees mm -hmm. in the process of making nuke. So right. that's pretty much what that amounts to. Right, you, know, you can keep your coal still on the... Exactly. You do quick connects. Right. I had that funny color. 